Hey everyone, I'm Mitch and I'm here to teach you how to draw realistic pets in a very short period of time. So we did this cat uh, a few times already and all we really need at this point is whiskers and eyes. I put in just some color in the background. Um, it, I mean it's not really really detailed. I don't want to take away from the cat. So just kind of just kind of chilling out tonight and doing a a quick live stream and then after the live stream I'm going to either stream a, another video or have a review of Great American Pastels. So I'm going to do that tonight, tonight as well. So let's knock out the whiskers first. See if I can completely screw this up. So we have a white Prismacolor Premier Pencil and let's get this thing razor sharp. All right, cool. So I've got a Prismacolor pencil. So we're going to come in here, and the reason we're doing a wax-based pencil on this paper, uh, which is pastel matte, is because I just want to get like final details. I mean, once you put this on, you're pretty much done. So this is just the final details. So we have one whisker that comes up here. We're going to try this out and see how this goes. One whisker that comes up there. That's nice. It's like it's not too... It's not too in your face, but it looks pretty good. We got whiskers that are coming through here, and a couple of whiskers coming out through here, out through there. We got some that are coming through here, over there. So it looks all right. You got like just a light whisker here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So it's barely noticeable, I'm sure, on the video. So from the eye, we got one that's coming up across through here. That looks all right. We got like right here. We got a few here. So just like subtle whiskers here and there. And we got quite a few. We got like one here, like some coming out through here. Like that, we got that one, we got this one over here. So just light, light whiskers here and there. Just to give it a little more depth, just to, just a little bit more depth than what we have. Like we got some up here. The top we have like a, a flurry of sort of whiskers come out through there. Oh, it looks pretty good. Just nice and light. Nothing super technical, nothing super detailed. Just here, one there, and uh, it's so subtle that like most people are never going to even notice this, but just whiskers here and there. I'm not sure if this will show up on the camera. All right, and then one like here, and I got a couple here. And then you have like the whiskers that are coming out of this and into the dark area here. Not whiskers, just loose hairs. Cool, and then you have some that are just down here, so. Got like the flurry of hairs just coming out through here. Again, I'm not sure if this will even show up on the camera. Cool, I like that. And like a couple more across through here. Give that loose, random. Hey, Kathy. Just finishing this up and starting the other kitty tomorrow. All right, cool. So we got like a nice, nice selection of just whiskers and furs and hairs just randomly just across there. Cool. Okay. So that gives it some realism. And let's see. 
By the way, Willow is next. That's tomorrow. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the prominent massive whiskers, and this might go terrible. Uh, we got one that starts here and goes out across to there. So from here. It's all right. Then we have from here. It's not too bad. And then we want to come out a little bit. And then we have a few more, but we want to come in more to here. And then that goes down to there. That's nice and prominent, which is what I was shooting for. Cool. And then we have like just random ones. Not quite as long. And so in through there. Then we have like a grouping here. It looks good. All right. So now we have another opportunity to completely screw this up. Going down through here. And as someone else, ah, oh, who was that? Was that Jenna Gunning? Jenna Gunning said you have to watch out with hairs, sorry, with cat whiskers. Because if you do them in the wrong direction, a cat's, a uh, how cat's whiskers are indicates its mood. So you can have like a couple of whiskers off and it looks weird because it looks like the cat's really angry. And then the rest of the whiskers, it looks like the cat's happy. So she said in her instructional video that you have to watch your whisker direction. Very important. All right. That looks okay. Now we need more. From here, then over there, like that. We have a lot coming down through here. These are really long whiskers. Mm. Yes, I like it. Need to get the white a little more prominent across through here and across through here through there. Cool. A little more prominence in this one. Okay. I did not have to break out the acrylic paint. That's good. Uh, cool. Okay. Final touch. Go with the eye. Let's see. How long does a portrait take? Depends. Um, Willow is going to be fairly quick say a cat takes much longer than a dog and I'll show you what it takes forever I'm gonna do this one after probably in between my 11 dogs I got coming up but I'm gonna do a cat and I will tell you this is going to be the longest project ever um, not that one this one okay so here's the cat I'm going to do in between the dogs and I can tell you this one is going to take probably five hours because of all the little hairs um, right in here it's going to take a really long time you'll see you have not only white hairs but the hairs in here aren't white they're tan and these are gray and white mix hairs and the eye that's that's at least seven colors and then right here is a nightmare that's going to be one two three four 
four colors just for this one area. So stuff like that takes forever. But like a dog, like a dog with just a couple of colors takes like an hour. Uh, depends. Uh, no, I think I got enough. I got three to choose from. I think we're still going with the the main one that we decided to look the best, right? Uh, of course, let me find it. I was just there. No, okay. Yeah, so I think we're going with this one. So that one's not too bad. You have a lot of purples and pinks in here. Then you have a lot of individual little hairs, but I'm not sure what paper I'm going to use on this. We'll see. I'll figure it out. But this doesn't have as much color variety. You have one, two, three, four, five. You only have five colors. And then the eye, you have one, two, three, four, five, four. Yeah. Won't be too bad. So Willow won't but take too long. And then after Willow, I have the last cat here. And this one, um, this one shouldn't take too long. Probably two, three days, two, three hours. So let's go back to this one. All right. Annie, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna do the eye, and we'll call it a day. And I'm gonna do a great American pastel review. So don't miss that one, you get to see my pastel collection. All right, so we have the same colors that we used for the other eye, which is yellow orange. I'm not gonna read out the colors. These are Carbothello Stabilo, Stabilo pencils, and they're a dollar each. So if you're going to have some savings, it's good to have savings on the pencils since they're only a dollar um, because you really want to spend your money on the background pastels because that's what's really going to top out. That's what's going to be what you're looking at the most. We have a white, got like a dark pink, um, your green, light green, dark green, black. So we'll start out with the black. So the drawing is not accurate. And that is coming up through here. My drawing is off. My drawing is off here. So I'll get the inner eye there. That's a thing like Wendy Lane says, if you're not looking at your reference every few seconds, you will mess something up. Wendy Lane is an artist here locally. She's amazing. She does portraits and in colored pencil. And I am extremely jealous because I cannot do portraits to save my life. Okay, that looks good. Yes, yes, that looks pretty good. Yes, that's bang on. All right, cool. So now up top, we have the dark green. We have a dark green black up top, actually. And it appears that we messed up the eye because we put black over here where it should not be. But luckily, we can just go over it. So there's green there and green here. And then we have some oil painting. After the cats, before the dogs, we have some oil painting. I owe somebody three oil paintings. It's a lot. It's gonna be fun though. Get a break. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to set up all my streaming stuff on the chair, roll it over there, or stream on my phone. Uh, okay. Let's see, so that is more of a yellow tone right around here. It's like a yellowish, 
green right there. Oh, thank you. Um, and then we have like a yellow here. And then underneath there we have a black. That's an interesting outline. I'm like the only pencil artist that does not use sharpened pencils. I just use whatever. There's always an edge that's sharp enough. Sharp enough for government work. All right, here we go. So that, that is yellow, but it's not all the way yellow. That is light green. Oh, that is light, light, light green. Is that an optical illusion or is that a light, light, light green? Ooh. Yes. This this could be exactly what I'm looking for. It is. It is. That's perfect. That is a nice color, man. That's so nice. I'm gonna have to use it twice. Gonna glaze this eye with it. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. It's got like a glassy depth to it. <gasps> this is nice. 104. Pit pastel. It's got like an odd glassy. Glassy effect. It's light green. But it's not like in your face light green. Some of the light greens are just so obnoxious. But this one's just really nice. So, got this light greens coming up here. Okay. So that's too yellow. Need some brown. Where are you, Mr. Brown? Where? Could you possibly be? Alright, who's this? Yes, sure. This works. Whoa! That is really brown. But it looks good. Mmm, get some up here. some here and get some here and you got like a little right here and then you have a white okay it's light green but it's also white right here That is so bright compared to the other eye. I don't want to do. I think. I know that this area here is whitish. I think it's darker as you come up. And this is not round enough. That's better. Come across here. Okay. And then up top, we have a gray. What do I have in gray? Oh, I have all my grays down here. What kind of pretty gray selection do we have? We have these. I'm gonna go with dark gray here.
what color is on the tip of this. I have no idea what that is. I think that side's clean. Gotta get precision work up in here. No, I don't like that. When you're mixing pastels, it's always prudent to figure out which side is mixing into which side. If you just randomly do it, and you just grab black and drag it into another color, you muddy down that other color, when in fact that's not what you wanted to do. So you have to be careful about which side you're dragging into what side. Otherwise, you will get unexpected results. And if you're on velour, at that point, you're pretty much screwed. So like fingernails on a chalkboard. I got a microphone that's decent just in time to make annoying noises. All right. Uh, that... That looks right. Yeah, looks all right. That looks all right. I think. Mm, I know we need the highlight, and I also know we need this gray area right here. Darken this a little bit. And then this lights up. This remains a little dark. Okay. of a tan this is a brown okay so we have an interesting brown color coming out of here and it sort of stretches down and then hits this area here right. and it's also in the other eye like the bottom. Yes, yes, it's exactly what I want. And then we have the, have a hint of white right here. We've got the same hint over here. subtle. Alright, that looks too bright right down here. I mean, we have the white, sure, but it should not just take over that bottom section, and there should not be a straight line right there. 
Oh, cool. I like it. I like it. I don't like how the other eye comes so far down. This one does not. So we're just going to bring this one down just a hair. All right, cool. And then, obviously, the magic highlight. Here, steady the hand. No, screensaver went off. All right. back. I like it a lot. That looks nice. Cool. So let me zoom out. See if we missed anything. No, no, that looks good. That looks good. We did miss something. We missed the pink. We have pink in the other eye, but not this eye. So just a hint. That's not a hint, that's a slap in the face. Right. That pink blends in with that brown. Okay, cool. I like it. What are we missing? What are we missing? Missing. Could use it's a little too much, but I want to bring it out a little more than I brought it out. Yes, looks good. Oh, I know what else. And right underneath the chin. We have some white hairs. Unfortunately, we have filled the tooth of the paper. So what we're going to do is put on gloves and then go in here with our Jero 359. And I just want... I just want something here. It's light. And then I want just a hint here and there. That's accurate. And here. All right, cool. All right, I'm happy with it. I'm going to call this done. Thanks for joining me. I shall return with some great American pastels, either on YouTube or on stream.